Judge Eglinton summed up. The truth is midway, he affirmed. He is the ghost and the prince. He is all in all. He is, Stephen said. The boy of Act One is the mature man of Act Five. All in all. In Cymbeline, in Othello, he is bored and cuckold. He acts and is acted on. Lover of an ideal or a perversion, like Jose, he kills the real Carmen. His unremitting intellect is the horn-mad Iago, ceaselessly willing that the moor in him shall suffer. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Cock Mulligan clucked lewdly. Oh, word of fear! Dark Dome received, reverbed. And what a character is Iago! Undaunted John Eglinton exclaimed. When all is said, do my feast, or is it do my pair, is right. After God, Shakespeare has created most. Man delights him not, nor woman neither, Stephen said. He returns, after a life of absence, to that spot of earth where he was born, where he has always been, man and boy, a silent witness, and there, his journey of life ended, he plants his mulberry tree in the earth, then dies. The motion is ended. Gravediggers bury Hamlet pear and Hamlet feast, a king and a prince at last in death. With incidental music, and what though murdered and betrayed, be wept by all frail tender hearts for, Dane or Dubliner, sorrow for the dead is the only husband from whom they refuse to be divorced. If you like the epilogue, look long on it. Prosperous Prospero, the good man rewarded. Lizzie, Grandpa's lump of love. And Uncle Richie? The bad man taken off by poetic justice to the place where the bad niggers go. Strong curtain. He found in the world without, as actual, what was in his world within as possible. Maeterlinck says, if Socrates leave his house today, he will find the sage seated on his doorstep. If Judas go forth tonight, it is to Judas his steps will tend. Every life is many days, day after day. We walk through ourselves, meeting robbers, ghosts, giants, old men, young men, wives, widows, brothers in love, but always meeting ourselves. The playwright who wrote the folio of this world, and wrote it badly, he gave us light first, and the sun two days later. The Lord of things as they are, whom the most Roman of Catholics call Dio Boia, hangman God, is doubtless all in all in all of us, ostler and butcher, and would be bored and cuckold too, but that in the economy of heaven, foretold by Hamlet, there are no more marriages glorified man, an androgynous angel, being a wife unto himself. Eureka! Buck Mulligan cried. Eureka! Suddenly happy, he jumped up and reached in a stride John Eglinton's desk. May I? he said. The Lord has spoken to Malachi. He began to scribble on a slip of paper. Take some slips from the counter going out. Those who are married, Mr. Best, Deuce Herald said, all save one, shall live, the rest shall keep as they are. He laughed, unmarried, at Eglinton Ioannis, of Arts, a bachelor. 
unwed, unfancied, where of wiles. They think upon the nightly, each his variorum edition of the taming of the shrew. You are a delusion, said roundly John Eglinton to Stephen. You have brought us all this way to show us a French triangle. Do you believe your own theory? No, Stephen said promptly. 